What's up, guys? I'm just sitting here getting ready to work out benching today, and I've not got the computer on or TV or nothing, nothing on. I've just been sitting and I've been kind of getting myself in the kind of right mindset, and I'm noticing that I'm kind of I'm, I'm a wee bit kind of nervous before lifting. And I've not been nervous before a workout for a, for, for a long time. And I feel that it's a, it, it's a good thing because the fire, the passion, it's really starting to come back. And I feel that I almost lost it a little bit. Not my passion for lifting, but it got it almost got to a point where I'm I wasn't doing the lifting because I love the lifting. I was I wasn't focusing on my love for lifting, and that's why I was going into the gym to do it. What I was focusing on is things that will come from weightlifting. So. You could even include YouTube in that, for example, with all the hard work I put into YouTube. And believe me, that the hard work it is it is paying off. I mean, in five months, that's me over five hundred subscribers, and the support is amazing. And I'm getting over a hundred views every single video now, and it, it is going very well. And the hard work is paying off. Or. But what I'm trying to say is, is that at almost the lifting, I was doing the lifting for, not for myself, and it felt like I was doing it for, to achieve things out with my control. And the past kind of three weeks, I'm more doing it for me, again, and I'm doing it for me, and I'm really, it's becoming better. It is, it's, it's, and I'm not nervous because, oh, I'm, I'm scared of working out. It's that I'm nervous that I don't hit the desired numbers that the programme has set out because I, I, I really want to. And I'm just sitting here and it's just, and I'm, it's an amazing feeling. I don't know, I'm not very great or good at talking about how I feel or my emotions or so this might all not be really may not be able to understand it but it's just that I'm a lot kind of happier working out again is that I'm I'm back to doing it for actually just the love of doing it with no other intention or reasons behind doing it apart from just because it's something that I want to do and it's something that I'm really passionate about and it's a great feeling and I'm really glad to have it back and all I can say is bring on Nationals. What's going on guys? So in this actual workout my benching felt amazing and it, I feel it looked even better on camera than I actually felt as well, which was just brilliant. I just feel everything came into place. I feel the pauses were all a lot more realistic to the judges that I will be competing with for a strict just one count. And I really feel that I am accelerating the whole through way throughout the movement and not slowing down at all and really focusing on resetting each rep and I felt that my hip drive or leg drive really, really, really is all coming together and Thursday is a really big day for me for squats and deadlifts and when I hit the desired reps I really feel that the confidence boost I will get from it will be insane 
And week five, yeah, next week is the last week of Johnny Candito's programme, technically. I will be doing a sixth week to find out my one rep maxis, but of his programme. And I just can't believe that that is the, it almost up already. But, I mean, the rep schemes that he has me hitting next week with the weights, or the, the desired rep schemes, is mental. And I never, ever would have dreamed of making those rep ranges with the weight that I'll be using this this soon but I am extremely confident and every time I'm going to the gym I'm getting a little bit more confident um, in my abilities and I really do feel that I'll hit these numbers and when I do it will set me up extremely nicely for some massive PRs and not just massive weight PRs but also it will be a lighter body weight so it's a massive body weight PR and a higher PR and to be honest my body weight is going down and I'm still adding some food so I mean <laughs> everything is just really really falling into place I'm feeling good my legs are feeling a little bit tired and taxed from all this kind of volume but they are slowly but surely adapting and I really feel that it's just so going to pay off for nationals. I really, really do. So I hope you've enjoyed these workout clips and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video, guys. Alright, guys. So that's me just finished working out, bench workout. I think it is the th third last bench workout of his whole program. Because right, I've got one more this week and I think I've got one next week. And then the following week will be a max one, but that's not really his workout. So yeah, got three left of this workout, of the um, of this program, sorry. And today the benching went really well, really well. All three sets, as you just saw, I think just flew up and felt really good. I'm having some pains in my elbows from some from having inflamed tendons or tendonitis, whatever you want to call it, but. It went really, really well and I'm happy with it. Um, I'm also noticing as well from some measurements and whatnot that I've, I think I've gained a little bit of muscle as well, despite being in a very, very slight caloric deficit, very slight. Um, and it's probably from all the increased volume because the volume increase is massive. So yeah, so I am just cooking some chicken and whatnot. I wanna have some, I don't know, might have some peanut butter jam sandwiches as well. I've not got that much food left, but I've got some. All right, so this is what I've got. I've got four chicken breasts, but they're not really chicken breasts because they're pretty skinny. Two pieces of wholemeal toast with peanut butter and a banana. So all in all, that is about 60 grams of protein, about 60 grams of carbs and about 12 grams of fat, so it's quite a good meal. I've not got much food left after it. Would you ever forget anything?